Okay, so this year is MIT Integration B decided to roll out this absolute monstrosity of an integral in the semifinals, and we're going to be evaluating it. So we have the integral from 0 to pi of a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. We have the integral from 0 to pi of a lot of stuff. The numerator consists of 2 times the cosine of x minus uh, the cosine of 2021 x minus twice the cosine of 2022 x minus the cosine of 2023 x plus 2. And it goes without saying that we need to simplify this stuff. We need to simplify matters considerably to actually think of a solution development. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to simplify the numerator first. So what I can do is what immediately comes to mind when looking at the structure is I can make use of those uh, really neat sum to product formulae from trigonometry. So let me collect this cosine 2021 and this cosine 2023 term together. And they both have the coefficient of negative 1, so I can just factor that out. And I'm dealing with the sum of the cosine of 2021x and the cosine of 2023x. So converting this into a product gives me twice the cosine of half the sum of the two arguments. So that is 4044x. So having that, halving that, or having that, yeah, it's having that. Sorry, English is not Englishing right now. So uh, the cosine of 2022x times the cosine of half the difference. Uh, half the difference would be uh, negative 2x divided by 2, which is, of course, a negative x term. And because the cosine function is an even function, we can uh, just ignore that negative sign. So, yeah, it looks like we've done a good job so far, but let's see how far this takes us. We have 2 times the cosine of x, and right near to it, this plus 2 term. Uh, minus twice the cosine of 2022x, uh, minus twice the cosine of 2022x times the cosine of x. So I can perform some factorization here pretty nicely. I can factor out a 2 from here, so that's 2 times the cosine of x plus 1. And I can factor out from these two terms a negative cosine 2022x term. So I have um, 1 plus the cosine of x, and again, factoring out the cosine of x plus 1 thingy, I have cosine x plus 1, and you can also factor out the 2, of course, and I'm left with a uh, 1 minus the cosine of 2022x, all right? So all this implies that I can write my integral i as the integral from 0 to pi of 2 times the cosine of x plus 1 times 1 minus the cosine of 2022x divided by 1 minus the cosine of 2x. Okay, that seems pretty neat, but now what? Well, a nice transformation can make our lives even more easier. I'm going to let x go to the pi by 2 minus x world. And this is pretty neat because now the integral is from, let's see, pi by 2 minus 0 is pi by 2, and pi by 2 minus pi is negative pi by 2. So I have 2 times now cosine of pi by 2 minus x is the sine of x. So I have 2 times 1 plus the sine of x times 1 minus the, uh, let's see, now you have cosine 20, 22 times pi by 2 minus x. So that translates to cosine of 1011 pi minus x. So 1011 is an odd integer, and you're going to fall into the second quadrant, so you're going to get a negative sign, a negative cosine. So you have 1 plus the cosine of 2022x there. Okay, cool. And in the denominator, you're going to have 1 plus the cosine of 2x, again, because of the extra negative sign. And the differential element goes to negative dx. So you have a negative sign with a dx that you can get rid of if you just switch up the limits of integration. And that makes it look a lot less weird. Okay, cool. So this is the structure that we're dealing with now. 
And now I'm just gonna expand the numerator a bit and make use of the linearity of the integration operator. So I have twice the integral from negative pi by two to positive pi by two of uh, two times, sorry about that, I took the two outside already. So I have one plus the cosine of 20, 22 X divided by one plus the cosine of two X dx plus twice the integral again from negative pi by two to pi by two of sine x times one plus the cosine of two x divided by uh, 20, 22 x. Wait, sorry about that. I forgot the, I forgot 20, 20 x's over there to be added. Anyway, so I have cosine 20, 22 x divided by one plus cosine two x. And the sec second integral here is pretty convenient. Why? Because sine x is an odd function cosine 2022 x plus one is an even function and the denominator is another even function so it's odd times even times even which amounts to an odd integrand so you're integrating an odd function over a symmetric interval from negative to positive pi by two so this here will amount to zero so that means your integral your integration problem is simplified considerably you started off with that mess of cosines and now all you have is twice an integral from negative to positive pi by two of a much nicer uh, cosine integral and wait a second this is an even integrand right this is an even function so instead of integrating from negative to positive pi by two you could just integrate from zero to pi by two and you know double the result so you have a factor of four now outside so the integral from zero to pi by two of one plus cosine 20 22 x divided by one plus cosine 2 x dx is now the integral of interest and continuing with our heavy metal approach using trigonometry we know that one plus the cosine of two x equals twice the square of the cosine of x and this two cancels out with one of the twos outside quite nicely. And we have twice the integral from zero to pi by two of one plus the cosine of 20, 22 x times the, now you have in the denominator the square of the cosine of x. So you have one uh, plus cosine 20, 22 x multiplied by the reciprocal of the cosine of x, which of course, is the secant of x and the square of the secant of x in this case dx and now for a good old integration by parts approach where we integrate the squared secant function giving us a tangent function and we're going to differentiate this bad boy here so we have one plus the cosine of 20 22 x the limits being zero and pi by two minus twice the integral from zero to pi by two of again the tangent function that I'm just gonna expand here as sine x divided by the cosine of x. So we have sine x by cosine x times the derivative here, which evaluates out to a negative sine term. So you have a cancellation of the, of the negative sign outside and you have sine 20, 22 x and because of the chain rule, you have another factor of 2022. 20, so multiply out that out by two and you have 4,044 outside. Now for evaluating the uh, limits here, as x approaches pi by two, the sine term will approach one. And you can use L'Hopital's rule here to prove that this will approach zero in the limit as x approaches pi by two. And as x approaches zero, the sine term will approach zero instead. So this entire term collapses to zero in both limits. And this implies that i equals 4044 times the integral from zero to pi by two of sine x times the sine of 2022 x divided by the cosine of x dx. Now we still need one more phase shift where we're taking x to pi by two minus x and this implies that i equals 4044 times the integral from zero to pi by two of the sine term becomes a cosine term so we have cosine x times the sine of 2022 20, x remains the sine of 2022 20, x and the sine the uh, cosine term in the denominator becomes a sine term and the reason for this phase shift will become clear in a few moments but first i need another trigonometric expansion this time involving the sine of 2022 20, x term in the numerator so sine 2022 20, x 
can be written as sine 2021x plus x. And this expands to sine of 2021x times the cosine of x plus the cosine of 2021x times the sine of x. And we have to multiply out this expansion with cosine x and divide it by sine x, right? So performing the arithmetic and using the linearity of the integration operator, we have 4044 times the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of the square of the cosine of x times the sine of 2022x divided by sine x. And for the other integral, we have this nice cancellation of this sine term and this sine term. So we have 4044 times the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of cosine x times the cosine of 2021x. And using the product of sum formulae, you can verify that this integral collapses to zero. So yeah, a bit of homework for the viewer. And now our integral of interest is just 4044 times the integral from zero to pi by two times the square of the cosine of x times the sine of 2020 1x really sorry about that really sorry about that so yeah this was a sine of 2021x 2021x divided by the sine of x dx today is the day i invoked the dirichlet kernel for the first time on the channel so yeah pretty exciting for me so the dirichlet kernel is the sine of n plus one half times phi divided by sine of phi by two being equal to one plus twice the sum from k equals one to n of the cosine of k times phi. And for the purpose of our integral, we'd like to perform a transformation from the phi world to the two times phi world. So that gives you sine phi in the denominator and multiplying this thing by two gives you two n plus one. And of course you have cosine of two k phi now. And here you have sine 2021x, right? So sine 2021x can be written as sine 2020 plus one times x, correct? Divided by sine x. So this means that your two n term equals 2020, and that means n equals 1010. So this is what this horrible term in the integrand evaluates to. And this is much nicer to work with. So finally, we have i being equal to 4044 times the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of the square of the cosine of x times 1 plus twice the sum from k equals 1 to 1010 of cosine 2kx integration with respect to x. And now to make our lives easier, we're going to expand this uh, squared cosine term as half of 1 plus the cosine of 2x. So that means I'm going to have 2022 here and twice the square of the cosine of x equals 1 plus cosine 2x, of course. So we have 1 plus cosine 2x being multiplied again by this term that I'm just going to copy and paste. So copy and wait a second, paste. Okay, cool. And now to expand the integrand using the multiplication being carried out here. So we have 2022 times the integral from zero to pi by two of one plus uh, twice the sum from k equals one to 1010 times cosine two kx plus cosine 2x plus the sum from k equals 1 to 1010 of cosine 2x times cosine 2kx. Alrighty then, uh, now what? Well, if you integrate cosine 2x between 0 and pi by 2, you get a 0. So let's just ignore this term. And the same case goes for all of these cosine 2kx terms. They all integrate out to sine of 2kx terms integrated from with the limits being 0 and pi by 2. So they all evaluate to 0 as well. So ignore all of this stuff as well. And you're left with 2022 
times the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of 1 plus uh, the sum from k equals 1 to 1010 of this product of cosines. And now once again I'd like to invoke the product of sum formulae. So for the case of cosine times cosine we have uh, cosine uh, wait a second, I forgot this factor of 2, and we need this as well. So, cosine times cosine gives you a one-half term times a sum of cosines. So, that uh, cancels out with a 2 outside pretty neatly. And you're left with a cosine of half the difference. The difference here will be 2x minus 2kx, right? Or we can just write this in a more compact manner as 2 minus 2k divided by 2 times x plus uh, the cosine of 2 plus 2k divided by 2x. All right. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. This is really nice to evaluate. Why is that so? Well, let me just use the, uh, the linearity of the integration operator, and I have the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of 1 with respect to x, plus switching up the order of the integration and the summation operators, I have the sum from k equals 1 to 1010 of the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of all of this stuff, right? Now, once again, Everything here will evaluate to zero except for one term, except for one term, and that is the term for which you have the cosine of zero times x, which is just cosine zero, which is one. And you can get that term when k equals one. So the only term you need here is the k equals one term because everything else on integration just evaluates to zero. So you only need the k equals one term, and that gives you a cosine of zero term, which is a one. So you have another integral of one with respect to x. So this means you have 2022 times pi by two plus pi by two, which is pi. So yeah, that's it. This is what that monster triggy integral evaluates to. And this was one hell of a ride, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. This was incredibly hard to record. Why? Because narrating everything was extremely difficult. It was extremely difficult. The math is perfectly correct. The math went fine. It was great. But the narration was pretty tough, so yeah. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.